Okay, so let's have this topic. So rules for finding the derivative. So we have just the derivative of a constant, the derivative of a power, the derivative of a constant times a function, the derivative of sum and difference, the derivative of a product, and the derivative of a quotient. So we have this the derivative of a constant. So y equals c. So c stands for the constant. So the derivative of a constant is 0. So if y equals 4, therefore y prime is equal to 0. So again, the derivative of any constant is always 0. Then the derivative of a power. So y equals x to the power n. So to get the derivative, that's y prime is equal to n times x to the power n, then minus 1 for the exponent. So we have this given y equals x to the power 5. So to get the derivative, so using this uh, formula, this 5 becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, so that's x to the power 5 minus 1. So the derivative now of x to the power 5, that's 5x to the power 4. Then for y equals x to the power negative 3, so this negative 3 becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, so y prime equals negative 3, x to the power negative 4. Because negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 4. Now, since this one is negative, to make the exponent positive, so bring down. So y prime is equal to negative 3 over x to the power 4. Then for the derivative of a constant times a function, so y equals c times x to the power n. So to get the derivative, so y prime is equal to c times the derivative of x to the power n. So this given y equals 2 times x to the power 4. So to get the derivative, so 2 times the derivative of x to the power 4. So using the power rule, this exponent becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, so x to the power 4 minus 1. So therefore, y prime is equal to 8x to the power 3. Then for y equals uh, 3 times x to the power negative 5, so y, uh, y prime equals 3, then this negative 5 so becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, then simplify, so y prime equals negative 15, and this negative 5, negative 1, that's negative 6. Then to make this exponent positive, so bring down, so y prime now is equal to negative 15 over x, to the power 6. Then the derivative of sum and difference, so we have y equals u plus or minus v. So to get the derivative, so y prime is equal to u prime or the derivative of u plus minus v prime or the derivative of v. So this is given, so y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 4x squared plus x minus 3. So to get the derivative, so we have 3, then times the derivative of x to the power 4. So using the power rule, this 4 becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 3 for the exponent. So 4x to the power 3, then minus 4 times the derivative of x squared. So this 2 becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, that's 2x to the power 1. Then plus the derivative of x, now since x, has one numerical coefficient, so therefore the derivative of x is 1. Because if y equals 2x and the derivative of 2x is 2, then if y equals negative 7x, so the derivative of negative 7x, that's negative 7. Then since the derivative of constant is 0, so therefore the derivative of negative 3 this one is 0. Then uh, simplify. So that's 12x to the power 3. This one is negative 8x. Then plus 1. So this is now the derivative.
Then for this given, so we have uh, 1 half times the derivative of x to the power 6. So this one is numerical coefficient, that's 6, then minus 1 for the exponent, so 6x to the power 5. Then plus 2, then the derivative of x to the power negative 3. So power rule, this one is numerical coefficient, then minus 1, so negative 3x to the power negative 3, then minus 1. Then for the derivative of uh, 4x, that's 4, then this one is constant, this one is 0. Then simplify, so 1 half times x, that's 3x to the power 5. Then 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6x to the power negative 4. Then minus 4. So to make this exponent positive, so bring down, so therefore 3x to the power 5 minus 6 over x to the power 4, then minus 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for the derivative of the product, so we have y equals u times v. So to get the derivative, that's v times u prime or the derivative of u plus u times v prime or the derivative of v. So we have this given, so y equals 2x squared minus 3x times 4x plus 2. So we have two ways or two methods in solving this uh, equation. So first method, using the algebraic method, so you need to simplify first the given before finding the derivative. So that's a uh, distributive property. That's 8x to the power 3. That's 4x squared. This one is negative 12x squared. Then negative 6x. Then combine like terms. So this positive 4x squared and negative 12x squared. That's negative 8x squared minus 6. So this time, find the derivative of this simplified equation. So y prime, so we have 8 times the derivative of x to the power 3, that's 3x to the power 2. Then minus 8 times the derivative of x squared, that's 2x to the power 1. Then the derivative of negative uh, 6x, that's negative 6. Then simplify, so we have 24x to the power 2, this one is negative 16x, then minus 6. So this is now the derivative. Then using the uh, product rule, so this one u times v, this one is u, and this is v. So we need to find first the u and the u prime, the v and the v prime. So u, that's uh, 2x squared minus 3x, then to get the derivative of u, so the derivative of 2x to the power 2, that's 2 times 2x to the power 1. Then the derivative of negative 3x, that's negative 3. So therefore, u prime is 4x minus 3. Then for v, that's 4x plus 2. Then to get the derivative of v, so the derivative of 4x, that's 4. And the derivative of 2, this one is 0 because this one is a constant. So since we have now our u, u prime, the v, and the v prime, so we can solve now using this formula. So y prime equals v, v is uh, 4x plus 2 times u prime, u prime, this one, that's 4x minus 3. Then plus u, u is 2x squared minus 3 times v prime, v prime is 4. Then simplify, this one is 16x squared, negative 12x, 8x, negative 6. Then this one is positive 8x to the power 2 and negative 12x. Then combine like terms, so 16x squared and 8x squared is 24x squared. Negative 12 plus 8, that's negative 4, minus 12, so negative 4 minus 12, that's negative 16x, and this negative 6. So this is now the derivative using the product rule method. 
Then for the derivative of a quotient, so this formula u over v, so to get the derivative, so v times u prime or the derivative of u minus u times v prime or the derivative of v over the v squared. So we have is given y equals x squared minus 2x over 2x plus 3. So this is u over v. So we need to get first the value of u, u prime, v, and the v prime. So u that's x squared minus 2x, then u prime or the derivative of u. So the derivative of x squared, that's 2x, and the derivative of negative 2x, that's negative 2. Then v, that's 2x plus 3. So the derivative of 2x, that's 2. And the derivative of positive 3, this one is constant, that's 0. So this is u, u prime, the v, and the v prime. So to solve now the derivative, using this formula, so v, this one, 2x plus 3, times uh, u prime, u prime is 2x minus 2, then minus u, u that's x squared minus 2x, times uh, v prime, that's 2, over v squared, that's 2x plus 3, then to the power 2. Then you simplify, this one is 4x squared, a negative 4x, positive 6x, negative 6. Then minus, since this one is negative, so you need to put everything inside the parentheses. That's a 2x squared, and this one is negative 4x, because you need to distribute this negative to every term. So over 2x plus 3 over 2. So we simplify. So 4x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 6. So distribute the negative to every term. This one is negative 2x squared and positive 4x. Then over 2x plus 3. Then over 2. Then combine like terms. So this 4x squared minus 2x squared. That's 2x squared. Then this 4x plus 6x, that's 2x, plus 4x, that's 6x. Then minus 6 over 2x plus 3 to the power 2. So this is now the derivative. Then for the second example, so uh, this is uh, u, this one is v. So u, that's x to the power 3 plus 4, so u prime. The derivative of x to the power 3, that's 3x squared. Then the derivative of 4, this one is 0. Then for v, that's 2x squared minus 3x. So the derivative of 2x squared, that's 2 times 2x. Then the derivative of negative 3x, that's negative 3. So therefore, v prime is equal to 4x minus 3. So we have u, u prime v and the v prime so solve now for the derivative using this formula so y prime that's uh, v v is 2x squared minus 3x times u prime u prime is 3x squared then minus u u is x squared plus 4 then times v prime v prime is 4x minus 3 then over v squared to x squared minus 3x to the power 2. So simplify. This one is 6x to the power 4 and negative 9x to the power 3. Then minus since negative, so you need to put inside the parentheses. This one is 4x to the power 4. Then negative 3x to the power 3. This one is 16x, negative 12. Then 2x squared minus 3x to the power 2. Then uh, distribute this negative to every term. That's negative 4x to the power 4, positive 3x to the power 3, negative 16x, positive 12. Then over 2x squared minus 3x to the power 2. Then combine like terms. 
So this uh, 6 x to the power 4, negative 4 x to the power 4, plus 2 x to the power 4. Negative 9 x to the power 3, and positive 3 x to the power 3, negative 6 x to the power 3. Then this negative 16 x and positive 12. Then over 2 x to the power 2, minus 3 x to the power 2. So this is now the derivative.